The Quintsonic software opens automatically after powering on the tablet. The gauge will now ask to register a reference signal. The transparent measuring surface of the sensor must be free of all contaminations or residues of coupling agents. Hold the sensor up in the air and click on OK in order to take a reference measurement. Tap on New Project to take measurements on a new part. The folder structure of the project is opened. Photos, group, measuring points and associated parameter set. By tapping on the plus symbol, any number of groups and points can be added. All designations can be chosen freely. For example, the project can have the name of the vehicle model, the wing group and the points on the left and right. For documentation purposes, photos can also be inserted and displayed in the measurement report. A parameter set is always linked firmly to a measuring point and is used for the correct evaluation of this measurement. For starters, select the required measuring range. Enter the number layers to be measured in number of layers. The parameter clipping is used to evaluate the correct echoes, that is the echoes that indicate a boundary between different layers. Working with the standard setting global clipping, two parallel blue lines are visible. All echoes outside these lines are evaluated to determine the layer thickness. If an echo lies within the clipping limits, it won't be considered for evaluation. For most applications, global clipping is the appropriate setting to evaluate the correct echoes. If an echo is too small to be evaluated with global clipping, or in case of interferences, it is recommended to work with variable clipping. When using variable clipping, a separate clipping area is created for each layer to be measured. Select a start time for the first clipping range. Adjust the clipping limit to approximately half the height of the corresponding echo. Then create a second clipping range. Proceed in this way until all echoes have been evaluated. The variable clipping is time independent, so that you can always evaluate the correct echoes even if the layer thickness fluctuates.